Hey guys, welcome to her channel. My name is Aisha. Follow me on Instagram, double underscore ICB. And today I will be her special guest. Yes. So today we're going to talk about... Uh, like how it is when you see all your friends around you getting married, but you're not married and you feel like you're pressured to get married. Okay, you see it. Today's going to be little. Litty, 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 litty. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, first we're going to start off by saying, like, talking about, like, you know, when one of your close friends or a lot of your close friends are getting married at a certain time of your life and all of them are getting married and, you know, you have, like, a lot of emotions going through you. You don't know. You feel good. But then again, you're thinking about yourself at the same time. Like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to have the chance to do this? Sis, you are going to get the chance when the chance is the right time. When it's the right time for you to get married, you are going to get married. That's one. To all those emotions that are going through you, it's good because you're happy for your friend. And yeah, like you, you're happy that they're happy, but don't, don't be fooled. Not just because the beginning stages of marriages, I mean, it's always going to look bubbly and it's going to look happy and it's nice going to like, you cute. know, yeah, nice mm -hmm. and cute, but it's stuff you, you're in this forever. So it's stuff that you're going to go through that's not going to be easy and it's not going to be happy and it's not going to be bubbly. But it's your responsibility to keep that happiness and bubbliness throughout your whole marriage. Not exactly. the beginning of your marriage. The also, your friend your... will not be there for you exactly, when you are married. You exactly. Know? Some so. of your friends disappear after you're married, you know? Mm. So, you just have to learn how to basically cope with all those emotions. Also, don't compare yourself exactly. to all your friends. Because you're not, y'all not the same person. If y'all were the same person, everything that happened to them would happen to you. But You don't have the same destiny, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, don't do that, you know? Exactly. Like, I know a lot of stuff feel that type of way. When they grow and they be like, oh my God, my friends are getting married so i should get married too no no don't no. do that because no. it is crazy because then you're not getting married for the right reasons you're not getting married for the sake of a lot marriage is the complete half of your dean therefore pleasing a lot if you're just getting married because your friends are getting married that means you're not doing it to please a lot you're doing it to please yourself and please the people around you what about if you get married and you get divorced people will laugh at you mm -hmm. they'll be like okay she get married but i don't know what going on you know people mouth like yeah, they talk people talk people talk no and be and be the closest people people to you that have everything to say about you and have all the bad things to say and tell people your business and that's another thing when you are married do not tell people your business because mm. it's none of their business what happens in your marriage between you and your husband is between you and your husband and that's it don't tell his cousin don't tell your cousin don't tell your whatever don't tell nobody because it's between y'all all the problems should be between y'all and stay between y'all because it's your business one okay. two <laughs> all right so the next topic is like when one of your friends get married or you even get married and you cut certain people out of your life if i mean don't if you feel like the person is beneficial to you i feel as though you shouldn't cut people out of your life just because you have a new person in your life there are some people that don't go get me wrong they have to go there's some people that are bringing negativity into your life. They have to go. If they are bringing positivity in your, to your life and they are bringing all good into your life, there is no reason to say, oh, now I'm married. I got to cut them off. That is a stupid excuse. Mm -hmm. Just because you're married does not mean you have to cut off everybody in your life. Yes, you can cut off the negative people, but you should cut out ne negative people. You really you're need not married. friends in your life. Yeah, like you're not, you're, your life is going to be about you and that person, yes, but you're going to need some outer like outer interaction you can't not interact with no one in the outside world like oh my life is like, just about one person and my life is just about mariama i'm gonna just talk to mariama i'm gonna just go to sleep with mariama i'm gonna just go to do this right no like yeah it's cool that's your like your partner for life and stuff but it's like you know you need some outside interactions you know mm -hmm. like you need, you're gonna be boring sometimes guys yeah like, you're gonna be boring like you think everything every day is not gonna be like the first day y'all talk you're gonna have days where it's gonna be like oh yeah the butterflies are back mm -hmm. and stuff but so, that's your best friend so at the end of the day just like your regular best friend some days y'all don't talk or some days y'all don't have long conversations that's mm -hmm. how it's gonna be you know like it's not gonna be you know i, I don't know i don't know the words i'm looking for like it's just it's just not i feel like people like expect a fairy tale and it, it's not a fairy tale you know like it's reality right. it's not what you see on tv if not not those couples that you see on youtube on Instagram, also guys like don't that. let the internet fool you you know mm -hmm. some people post the pictures like traveling pictures outside picture mm -hmm. like dinners and everything don't let that fool you yeah. sometimes they be bad outside like 
outside they look outside. good but they it's not good inside of it so do right. not do not try to build your marriage off of somebody else's marriage right because Don't, that's not your it. marriage mm-hmm. that's their marriage that's their relationship what goes on at their house is not is not your concern therefore you don't know how it really is you can't mm-hmm. see oh they went to dubai babe i want to go to dubai right. now <laughs> want to go to dubai <laughs> go to Dubai because you want to go to Dubai. Don't go to Dubai because oh, such and such went to Dubai, and I, I want you to buy me roses, thing. and mm-hmm. I want you to buy me this ring, and I want you to buy me this car. First of all, the guys don't like that. Exactly. The men's don't like that. If a man see a swear guy, you comparing yourself to others. I swear to God, if you're not married, that's a they will both leave you alone. Both ways. If yes. you're a guy that compares yourself to someone else, mm-hmm. do not compare yourself because you're not the same person as someone else. Like comparing is what. That belittles yourself. Right. Like, if you're comparing someone to be like, I want this, I want that, and I want to be like them, yeah, you're doing that, but if, if you don't become like them, then what? Then what are your expectations? You're going to kill yourself. Yeah, literally. You're going to stress go- yourself for no reason because it's not going to work, you know? Exactly. We all have different questions and answers, you know? We're not, we're not the same thing. I always tell that people, I don't care, just be yourself. You don't need to be like other people, you know? You don't need that. Just be yourself, do what you love, and that's it. You exactly. Know? Live and your life for your happiness and your partner's happiness. Or if you don't have a partner, live your life for your happiness. Do not listen to what, oh, my parents want me to do this, so I'm going to do this. Do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, it's your life. You only live once. That's the only time I'm going to that, use that little motto. You only live once. So Make live sure your life how you want to live it because if you die and you live the li- dream that your parents wanted you to live, then you died unsatisfied. You live the life that your husband or wife wanted you to live, you're living unsatisfied. Right. Do what you want to do, but what is best for you at that too. Don't just exactly. throw your life away at the same time either. Right. About, yeah. um, when basically, you you're, say you're a married woman, and your friends are all married, so y'all like a group of married women, or just say someone you know, and they come to you, they're like, yeah, my husband did this for me, my husband did that this that and the third he's the best husband yeah, ever he's the best husband ever mm-hmm. don't, my friend not don't, lie don't yeah, listen no. don't listen hey. to that don't i mean you can listen and be like oh yeah that's nice like don't be a hater but it's just like you know they, they be, be lying, lying sometimes yeah, they be and if you're lying. crazy you be like you oh, go to your husband go to your husband why you don't do this for me such and such husband does this for me such and such husband does that no cut that shit out that's not important that's not relevant what that's that's how you say it prevalent (laughs) prevalent (laughs) like that's not prevalent so it's like you have to live your life you have to be in your marriage and your life based off of whatever comes to because you know life is unexpected so whatever's happening in your life at that moment in time that's how you're supposed to live your life you're not supposed to look okay so such and such fatumata's wife Spotman's husband then got me a new ring mm. and got me a new car mm. and he cleans he does the dishes and he cooks and he, he helps me cut the onions and he takes take care of the baby the mm. senator and you go home to your mama do and be like mama do feel no like don't don't send you your mama do don't send you your father like just you know just live your life like this, my whole my whole mantra is live your life the way your life is supposed to be right we don't know how life's supposed to be that's how you gotta live it how it's supposed to be because it don't make really much sense but it makes sense in my mind so that's why i'm telling y'all mm-hmm. but it's like live your life however you see it going so if your life is going one way you live it and try to make it better that one way you're going if it takes you on another way you go to that other way and you make a new you may make a new way of living that's because you like, never know shit happens sometimes exactly you know? and life yeah. is unexpected unpredictable right now i'm standing here talking to y'all but what knows what's about to happen to me the next second you never know right never know but yeah so our final topic is going to be about your perception of marriage before you get married or when you're a newlywed Thinking that everything you go in and it's just about the wedding and it's just about having sweet stuff, Nonsense. you know, going on <laughs> dates and you know traveling. Mm. Sis, bro, it's other stuff to marriage. Don't think it's just like you know the stuff that you just see on social media. Like we said before, you gotta think about your living situation. You got bills to pay. You got expenses. You're eventually gonna have kids if you want kids. Mm. You gotta still go continue your you life at kids, your eh? husband or mm. with wife house. You're going to have to continue your life. So, therefore, all the struggles that you're in your life now, they don't just disappear when you're married. People think that everything just, like, magically 
poof, it's gone after you're married. No, you just in another house, bro. Like you just in, you just. And that house, house is difficult because it's not in your parent house. You're mm-hmm. in somebody, somebody house, you know. Exactly. So it's like, no, and you know how like some people, like some girls, they go and they think like, oh, they don't gotta pay nothing. They don't gotta do mm. this, do that. If you're working in your parents' house. You should still work at your husband's house. Don't think shit is changing just because you're going to your husband's house. Like, I, I hate people who feel like, oh, now my husband got to do everything. Was your dad doing everything for you? Y'all out here working at McDonald's, working all these jobs at your dad's house, and then telling telling your husband, oh, you got to pay this, you got to pay that. Was your dad paying that? If your dad wasn't paying it, your husband don't got to pay it, period. You work for the shit that you're working for now. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. I don't like that. Like, I don't like that Yeah, stuff. this is America, guys. Le- let's help each other, you exactly. know? Exactly. So, if you're all working, like, if your husband see you help him, like him, like, it's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. When the- we never know. You never know. Life always changes. Like, some t- right now, it may be, you can be making more money than your husband. Mm-hmm. And so, if you're making more money than your husband, you're telling me you're still gonna make your husband pay for everything? That make, that quite dumb. You a whole cat, you a whole, like, goat, goat, no cat, you a whole goat. Like, <laughs> yeah, you a whole nugget, oh, like Bali, fucking, fucking Bali. Like, you can't, you can't think like that. Like, people think like everything should be given to them once they're married. No, like everything you're working hard for, you need to continue working hard for because at the end of the day, your goal, your goal should not change based off marriage. Like, if you're married or you want to be, like, you want to get married, okay, get married, that's cool. But if you still want to get your bachelor's degree, still get your bachelor's degree. If you still want to start a business, still start your business, even if you're married. That should, marriage should not change your perception of life or change your goals, period. Period. But, like, African parent, mm-hmm. if you tell them you want to be like, I want to get married, they be like, mm, mm. the Andy Maria's no way, no. Yeah. You know how Maria's are. Basically, like, they think when you get married, everything will change, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, all, it's all about your husband mm-hmm. and, like, the, the family They think, of your like, husband. your husband is going to control you because that's what they, some of, let's be honest, some of our parents, our mothers, that's what they went through. Their husband controlled them, and they just had to stay home and take care of the kids. They, If they were going to school, they stopped going to school and all that. But yeah. times have changed. Y'all gotta be and like, also, this is America. You exactly. cannot do that. You can't do that. Like, I mean, the men don't even marry the people who don't go to school, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't. Mm-hmm. The first thing they're going to ask you be like, are you going to school? Are you doing something with your life? Right. And the same thing I ask them, well, I don't ask them, but the same thing you should ask them is, what are you doing with your life? Make sure whatever the person is doing in their life is something productive. If it's not productive, then boom, they're cut. Period. Like Because it's you, the same thing. It's yeah, vice versa. Like, the same thing. You can't sit here and not do anything with your life. And expect to have someone in your home or bring someone to like bring someone to live with you if you ain't got shit going for yourself. Sorry. Like I don't I don't even have friends that don't got shit going for yourselves, period. So <laughs> you got me you got me effed up if you think I'm gonna talk to you <laughs> and you ain't got shit going for yourself. Like you gotta have shit going for yourself in order for you in order for someone to be like, Oh, all right, so let me consider him as a suitor or let me talk to him, let me get to know him, like you know, like it's just simple things, man, simple things. And America is expensive. Period. It is, it is. But also, I know you have to make sure to ask all that question, but don't be too picky. Yeah, Because exactly. you will end up sitting at your mom's house. Forever. 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 And I think, no, Murabi, he's yeah. short, he's not tall, Murabi. he have this, his nose is like this, yeah. his mouth is <laughs> like that, the teeth is like this. My friend, you will end up sitting at your mom's house. Yeah. As look, yeah. Just look for the personality. Like, if this have a good heart and... Good character, good dean, mm-hmm. good dean. That mm-hmm. is number one. Right. If you're not going to someone because... You're going to someone because they got money or they got this job... My sister, no, you don't do that. Even though if it's nice, you know, if somebody got educated, got money and stuff. Yeah, that's nice. Tall and everything. We, yeah, all, tall. we all love sexy people, but yeah. make sure you're... Make, that. Sexy ain't everything. Because I, I swear to God, when you get married, imagine you seeing that person every day. Mm-hmm. That sexiness someday will disappear. You will be like, you know what? I don't even know what I married. Yeah, exactly. Because we're not living with that sexiness. Yeah, and you it's mean, like you... you once you married or you want to get married, the person you're going to be with, you're going to see every part of them. You're going to see the good, the bad, the flaws, all of that. You will see that. You have to be prepared to deal with all that. You have to be prepared to deal with all that. So you got to make sure the person you're marrying is your best friend, is the person that you can tolerate every single day. Because just like you're, if you're a female, you got a female best friend, just like y'all can get into arguments. Or more than fight. that. Like, yeah, or more than Because like, that, you're marrying that person. Yeah. Like a best friend, you can leave that, leave her anytime you mm-hmm. want, anytime. But the husband, 
you will stay with that person for exactly. the rest of your for, life. For, so for, make sure you choose thin. wisely. Thick and thin. Mm. Always, you always gotta know that, and you gotta make sure y'all build a friendship. If y'all are not friends, honestly, it's not. It's honestly not gonna work because you cannot get into someone. Okay, so. It's like, it's like y'all trying to fill out job applications. Okay, so what's your name? What's your date of birth? How tall are you? Where do you go to school? What do you do this, that, and the third? You look at that, and you base base that little application mm-hmm. off of whether or not the person, you want to get married to them, you're going to make them your suitor, whatever the case may be. Because if y'all not friends, and y'all don't know how to talk about weird, random things, then how are you going to live with somebody every single day, see them every single day, and gonna all be y'all boring. know about each other is the fact that y'all wanted to get married to each mm-hmm. other, but y'all don't even know each other right. in reality. If y'all not friends, y'all don't know each other, period. If y'all just talk but to each other, But when we say friend, married, when we say friend, it doesn't mean go out before the marriage and do chuku chuku. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, don't do chaka chaka wahala. <laughs> don't do chuku no. hala, no. Halal way, my yeah. friend. You can go out and eat and do like talk, but yeah, no talk, chuku chuku, you know? Talk, yeah, yeah, no chuku chuku, no. <laughs> <laughs> no chuku chuku, no chaka chaka, none of that, none of that. No none one some kind of. I mean, okay, but if y'all want to do that, that's your business. You know, yeah, because at the end of the day, that's your business. That's your marriage. So but if don't you never do that. Yeah, but if you wanna, I swear, when you do that, he will end up divorcing you and yeah. go marry somebody else. If y- y'all want this, to do that, because like I heard, when you go into Hajj, when you like your bride is like some something like that, you should leave her first before you go to Hajj. Exactly. So you don't want that shit to happen to you. And it's like it's just me personally. I don't care. Like if that's how you want to do your process, you can do your process. But yes, yeah, like if that's the process you want to go about. You, I mean, you know, it's your life. If right. it's your life, y'all can do what y'all want to do. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, if you're looking at it from a dean standpoint, and eventually, like, and it's also a shame. Allah, for it's even, it is a shame, like doing that. It is a shame. Yeah, like, and it's just like you know, there's so many rules and regulations. Like, if y'all do do that, if you want to do it in an Islamic way of marriage, like, okay, y'all do the chaka chaka, and then y'all can't see each other. Like, one of y'all gotta go to the <laughs> West World, and one of y'all gotta go to the East of the World can't see or talk to each other for six months are you willing to sacrifice all that or sacrifice not pleasing Allah just to do chaka chaka for a few minutes oh, chuku chuku. Chuku chuku. <laughs> <laughs> do chuku chuku for a few like one time two times three times before marriage that, so not that nonsense waited. thing yeah it's, nonsense. Not, it's not worth it oh it's not God, worth it because if you, i know it is a good thing but i'm my friend no listen that's not and that's and that's another thing you're not getting married just for, you know, chaka chaka. Like, the chaka chaka is there, but don't, it's not. Then just put your mind on, on that, that thing, yeah, you know? that's another thing. Because, okay, let's say, say like, like, let's do this. Like, when you get married, you got good chuku chuku. But <laughs> the guys, <laughs> but the guy, basically, you don't love him. You just like, like that. Like, it's, it's exactly. crazy. Exactly. Like, and it's just, I don't know. Y'all crazy. <laughs> oh, good chuku chuku. Good chuku chuku. <laughs> chaka chaka. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm dying. I swear oh, to God. God. I just said chuku chuku. This is crazy. Chuku chuku, chaka chaka. Chaka chaka. I want to go chaka. <laughs> yeah, you but yeah, it's just, you know, you got to live like It's just like my thought. Uh, y'all may think like I'm crazy the way I'm talking because I'm just talking about a bunch of things at once but it's just like that's just how my mind goes like I just think about a million things at once and my mind just be running a million miles per hour Mm, so it's just like I say a lot of different things but it's like if you really have a sit down and talk to me you would just you'll know you'll understand you understand why I talk like that don't worry about it you already have your mind so they can Mm. think however they they want y'all can think about however y'all want I don't give up hold the ringo hold the ringo uh-huh, but you digging it? You digging it? You can die there. I'm oh free. You can go on a bit. I'm waiting. Feeding. She's waiting. Hit yeah. her up. You know, Saida Mariama. Hit me up. Double underscore ICB. You know, you get All right, guys. So this is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching us. And don't forget to subscribe, like, this and comment. This is my first time on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Ah!